Hello everyone, welcome to Project Veritas Wall of Shame, where the journalist's reputations go to die, where they have to print lies and corrections about us. We frame them, that's why we call it the Wall of Shame. This retraction goes to Syracuse Post Standard in Syracuse, New York. Cue the Retracto theme song. Retracto. Alright, so this headline reads, SU grad accuses Fox TV station of muzzling her, says she leaked recordings to Project Veritas. They're referring to Ivory Hecker, the brave insider whistleblower working for Fox 26, who went on the record and effectively lost her job for the public's right to know how her TV station operates. This article printing, quote, Veritas earned a reputation for promoting conspiracy theories, Thrive admitted to fabricating claims. James O'Keefe was banned from Twitter earlier this year for allegedly violating the platform's manipulation rules, which block users from setting up false accounts or using multiple accounts to artificially amplify or disrupt conversations. What the article selectively edited out was that I'm suing Twitter for defamation. Notice how this article just regurgitates, just, just reports to us what these powerful companies tell them. Um, what you'll begin to understand when you study these journalists with the trademark is that journalism is effectively printing what powerful people don't want you to print. But what they're doing is effectively public relations, is relaying to the public what the Twitter company is telling them. Now again, we're suing Twitter for defamation. They edited that out. So, here's what happens next. Syracuse.com deletes these two paragraphs when we ask for a correction. They just delete it all. That seems like it would be okay so far. No, no, Syracuse hyperlinked in these two paragraphs this thing about the bribe, postal worker admitting to fabricating Trump push border claims. No, they left those articles up. So even though they deleted the hyperlinks, the original article with the false information in it was still up. So we send another note to Syracuse.com and then they effectively delete these two articles that they've hyperlinked to, which is the second major correction. But the story doesn't end there. So then what happens next is Ivory Hacker gets fired from Fox 26 Houston and Syracuse.com does an article about that news development. And in that new article about Ivory Hacker being fired, Syracuse.com reports, quote, she also, she Ivory, said that she provided secret recordings to Project Veritas, O'Keefe's far right organization that claims to investigate or expose claims to investigate or expose bias in mainstream media and often promotes conspiracy theories and falsehoods. So they reiterate the claim they had previously deleted and retracted. Now, these two hyperlinks, conspiracy theories and falsehoods, link to the two articles that they had previously deleted. So we reach out to one John Lammers, John Lammers at Syracuse.com and ask them about why they have this new thing linking to an article that's effectively dead they deleted the whole article, not just the paragraph. So they've deleted the original two paragraphs. They've deleted the two articles they hyperlinked to in the original two paragraphs. They write a new article after Ivory gets fired, which hyperlinks to the dead articles, and they delete that entire article. Syracuse.com is deleting so many things, which is why we have it framed. In perpetuity forever and ever. Now you get this. We're gonna give you three retractos because you deleted three things. Not one, but three. Do you know that in my entire career, four. <laughs> my producer's like, four. <laughs> okay, we'll give you another one. How about we give you a really angry retracto this time? <laughs> Anger. Okay, we'll give you four retractos. And all of this could have been, now you probably want the, you know some of the comments actually say that people lie about us so that they get the cute long, cute the retracto? It's like a disincentive. I'm rewarding you for your errors and lies. But I'm also putting you on blast. And now you see this Lammers character. No one's ever heard of you before, but now everyone knows who you are. We've got your name, we've got your number. Because you lied to people. Syracuse, New York, one of the best journalism schools in the country. And you're deleting and You know that in my life, I have not even printed four corrections in my life. In my life. I have not made a mistake as material and substantial as the one that you have. I mean, I could sue all these people. I could spend all of my time in litigation, but I have to choose 
my battles carefully. I don't want to punch down against you people. But you're having a pernicious effect on dialogue in this country. And all of it can be avoided. All of it. If you just stuck to the facts. We need the news, no protection.